Hey guys, what's up? I want to show you something really cool today. Um, this will be the second episode of our fire starter series and uh, today instead of using, uh, like last time we used potassium permanganate and glycerin, today we're going to use white phosphorus uh, and we're just going to set it out in the atmosphere and uh, see if we can't get it to combust. So it'll be super cool. Stick around guys. Uh, first of all, let's start off with something that uh, is a little sketchy. Uh, is what we call white phosphorus or yellow phosphorus, uh, same thing. Uh, and so anyway, this stuff is uh, another way that we can start a fire. All right, so we got to move all this stuff to the fume hood because uh, once this phosphorus catches, it's going to make uh, quite a bit of smoke. Uh, it's phosphorus pentoxide that we're going to be cr creating. And it's a little poisonous, so we want to get rid of that. So we're going to go to the fume hood and we're going to do the reaction in there. I'll show you. All right, so here we are. We're in the fume hood, and we're going to go ahead and, and prepare uh, some phosphorus so we can start a fire here. Uh, the interesting thing about phosphorus is it has to be kept under water. It's so reactive with oxygen uh, that we have to store it in water. So inside of here, we've got some pieces of phosphorus, uh, and it's all stored underneath some water. So uh, in order to cut this, though, we have to pull it out and cut it underwater as well. Um, so I'm just going to grab some tongs here. All right, so let's get us a piece of phosphorus out here. Uh, so over here I've got a big container of water as well, so I'm just going to pull a chunk of phosphorus and put it in the water here. Um, something that's really interesting about this, let me pull it out for just a second and show you uh, if we can focus on that. See the smoke that starts rolling off of the phosphorus once it's out of the water? Um, yeah, just putting it back in the water, we can cause that to stop. Um, but once it's out in the air and that water evaporates off a little bit, we see some smoke starting. That is phosphorus pentoxide. It smells a lot like matches. I'm going to go ahead and put this under water so we can get it cut. Uh, there you can see where we've cut it. It's kind of a really interesting red color there. Uh, so there's that. I'm going to put that back now so we don't need the whole thing. So I'm going to grab that out of here and show you what that looks like. And just, I'm going to set it on top of the sand here. All right, so there's our phosphorus. It is sitting on top of our sand. Uh, so if we leave it out long enough, it will go ahead and combust. Um, the problem with that is that it just, it takes quite a while. Uh, so what I do have though, I've got a stir rod here. Uh, this is just a glass rod that we use to stir things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat up the end of this stir rod here not at all in any way are we messing with the phosphorus. Uh, I just want to add a little heat. Uh, so I'm just heating up the end of our rod here. Uh, it's probably sufficient. It doesn't take a whole lot of energy, but if we add just a little touch of warmth to our phosphorus, uh, it takes off really well. Cool, huh? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it and um, it's just super cool to see phosphorus take off and, and start a combustion process on its own. Just reacting with the oxygen in the air. Super cool. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button down below. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. And aside from that, I will catch you guys next time.